Hello there, and welcome to this presentation where we'll be discussing how to use the PNP modern search for parts in order to create a department web part. My name is Kasper Larsen, I work as a senior solution architect at Bellamine Denmark, and you can reach me on the social media around here. This is a new site collection created for the marketing department. Uh, you might recognize the template we're using. It's one of the provided by Microsoft and uh, looks very nice. And up here we have a presentation of the team and it looks all right, except for the fact that we can't see who's actually a member of this team. So perhaps we should do something about it. So we can take this section, change it to a three column setup and add a uh, search result web part here. One thing that's pretty obvious though is that if we go in here and have a look, there ain't any uh, search result web parts. And the reason is that we haven't added uh, modern search to uh, the site collection yet. So let's go do that. Marketing and the page for the team. And come down here and add that search result web part. The first thing we are asked is to consider which of the data sources that we would like to use. We will use the SharePoint one. And let's just go down here and select another results source because we don't want uh, SharePoint results, we want people results. This one. And see there's a lot of options, but uh, we'll just go to page uh, two now and select the layout that's called people. That can uh, show us people uh, using the right uh, setup. So let's go back on page one. So we, now we need to specify who's actually showing up here. And we could do stuff like using uh, the managed property called department. And say we want this one and we want marketing. Let's see how it shows up. And well, we get some results now. The problem is that right now we are basing our query on the name of that department. And departments, they have a tendency to change name from time to time. So what we can do instead is rather than using the name of the marketing department, we can use the ID of the marketing department. The ID is stored in the term store. So let's head over there and uh, get the ID number that we're looking for. We are now in the term store and we are looking for the department ID for the marketing um, department. So in order to find that, we have to go into the term store. People section, we see the department is there. And marketing department is right here. And the ID number is this one. So let's grab this one, and head back to our page. This one instead. We are not going to use the department uh, managed property. We're going to use the one called OWS tax ID SPS H department. This is the a reference to the term store ID. So if we do it like this, we have now a search term. We don't really need one because uh, we are not going to query this one. It's always the same result that we want. So it should contain this one, apply. And now we get two results. These two uh, people are actually the members of that department. 
So let's change the name of this one called to marketing or our team. So we are on the marketing page anyway. And spelling would be good. So now we have the right people showing up. So perhaps we should. Do we want this one to show up where we show the results? I'm not sure. Let's just uh, take this one off. Or perhaps we should have paging if there's a lot of people in this one, uh, in this uh, department. So let's go over here and have a look. We don't want the results count to show up, so let's run now. And we want to show the hover card. The hover card is a nice feature we have that if we move our cursor over the people in here, it will actually show up with this uh, people card from uh, which pulled by graph. So it, in order to get that, you have to uh, allow this uh, web part uh, some permissions, which uh, uh, you ask you ask for when you uh, add the solution to the to app uh, store. So we can change the component size as well to large in order to get the phone number as well. If you want to change it further, you'll have to go into the people fields and modify that, or perhaps even go into um, this layout where you can actually further customize the people web part, uh, the people uh, layout further if you have special needs. You want to show a picture or whatever a kind of special ID or special property for, for the people in here. But uh, now we're actually done, or we can just publish. And now we show the members of our department. Thank you.